that is the accumulation structure. This is the right hand side of the chart uptrend. Reaccumulation structure happens here, breaking out, coming back, have a test, forming another trading range. One week before the election, we had increasing of the volatility and also increasing of the volume. This come back to test the access line. We have the vertical absorption happen on the US election day and kickstart another uptrend. There's a consolidation, there's a breakout, followed by another uptrend. Pretty much this is a downswing. So that's back in 20. Let's get to 16. This is where Trump got elected. There's the day that react to the US election. We have a spike of the volume and also big spread bullish bar. Back in 2015, 2016, this is another accumulation structure. Here is a selling climax, and this is also another spring type of action, a sign of strength, red, backing up process, breaking out, coming back have a test. There's a textbook style structure. Let's zoom into the reaction to the election day, which is on 9th of November, Tuesday, our uh, election day and Wednesday is the reaction one week before the election. This should be somewhere around here. What we have here is increasing of the volume, increasing of the volatility. That's also the backing up process. This is a spring type of action. Come back down, break down, tested, and followed by rally up. In 2020, we also see increasing of the volatility one week before the US election. This pretty much the pattern, at least for this two election. This is a accumulation structure It's currently at the backing up process. Similarly in 2020, here can be considered as sign of rally and also a backing up process. Similar structure, similar context. This is not a spring, but it's coming back to test the previous swing low level. One week before the US election, we have increasing of the volatility and also increasing of the volume. Let's switch back to the current structure. What we have here is also similar structure, similar context. Supply has been decreasing and we have the sign of strength rally, backing up process, minor sign of strength rally, one week before the US election, which is now. Prior to that, we already see increasing of the volume and also increasing of the volatility. Based on the 2016 and 2020 analog, we could anticipate a reaction, a test of the, the structure. It could be something like this, more of a coming back to test the swing low or this access zone. I wouldn't be too surprised if we do have another uh, swing down, coming back to test 57.50, somewhere around here or 100. That should be the support zone. That's based on the past analog. There is slight increase of the volume and also slight increase of the volatility. Last one I say, that is where we have the down bar with slight increase of the volume. On Friday, there was a rejection tail, but this is not threatening yet based on the volume level. This supply level is still considered as low based on the analogs in 2016 and 2020. Uh, starting this week, we could see another swing down after the election, which is the reaction day. We could be volatile, big spread bar, choppy, whipsaw on both sides and continue to the higher ground. The current structure is similar to 2020 structure. The main accumulation structure is back in 2022. Here is a straightforward uptrend. This is another reaccumulation, a change of character, a test and breaking out with decreasing of the supply. But short term, one week before we could have another checkout type or a spring or test of the access zone. After that, it could turn around and kickstart another uptrend. Right after the election, the uptrend continued for quite some time, at least about a year before we see another meaningful change of character. 2020 here is an established uptrend. Here is the election and followed by a long-term uptrend that lasts for more than a year. Back in 2016, 
we also have a strong uptrend last about a year. That is the bar election. Here is the uptrend. That is the China overbought. And this is where the US and China trade war started with a ton of the volume 2018 January. Here comes the end of the doctrine. We could anticipate similar type of the analog uh, after the US election. We could anticipate a continuation of the uptrend. 